welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that take a five yearly period of moving average and determine short term oscillations for the following data. Also plot the graph for actual and trend values. And this is the data which is given to us. And now we will start with the solution. Now we will take a five yearly period of moving average. And for this, first of all we will draw a table for this given data. Now here we have drawn the table for the given data. Where the column 1 is representing the years, the column 2 is representing the number of students in thousands. And in the column 3 we will find 5 yearly moving totals. And in column 4 we will find 5 yearly moving average. And in the last column we will find the short term oscillations. Now first of all we will find the 5 yearly moving totals. For this we will add the values of first 5 years that is starting from the year 1995 to the year 1999. So we will add these 5 values and we will write this total against the middle year which is the third year that is the year 1997. So we will write here 9 plus 12 plus 20 plus 23 plus 33 which is equal to 97. Now in the next step we will leave the first year's value and we will add the values for the next 5 years. That is, we will add these values and we will put the total against the year 1998. So we will write here 12 plus 20 plus 23 plus 33 plus 19 which is equal to 107. Now we will continue these steps until this last year's value is taken into account. So in the next step we will add the values for the next 5 years and we will put this total against the year 1999 and on adding these values we get 121. Now in the next step we will add these 5 values and we will put the total against the year 2000. And on adding them, we are getting 130. Now in the next step, we will add these values. And we will put the total against the year 2001. And on adding them, we are getting 142. Now, in the next step, we will add the values. That is these five values and we will put the total against the year 2002 and on adding them we are getting 125. So we have continued this process until this last year's value is taken into account. Now we will calculate the five yearly moving average. For this we will divide the five yearly moving totals by five. That is here it will be 97 by 5 which is equal to 19.4 and in this case the 5 yearly moving total is 107 so the 5 yearly moving average will be 107 by 5 which is equal to 21.4 similarly 121 by 5 is equal to 24.2 130 by 5 is 26, 142 by 5 is 28.4 and 125 by 5 is 25. Now in the last column we have to find the short term oscillations. 
Now the short term oscillations can be calculated by deducting the trend values that are the values in column 4 from the actual values that are the values in column 2. Now here the number of students in thousands were 20 and here the fine yearly moving average was 19.4. So the short term oscillation will be 20 minus 19.4 which is equal to plus 0 0.6. Now here 23 minus 21.4 is plus 1.6. 33 minus 24.2 is plus 8.8. 19 minus 26 is minus 7. 26 minus 28.4 is minus 2.4. 29 minus 25 is plus 4. In this way we have calculated the short term oscillations. And now we will plot the actual values and the trend values on the graph. First of all we will plot the actual values. For this the first point that we will plot on the graph will be the year 1995 with 9. So this is the required point which shows that in year 1995 there were 9000 students. Now the next point that we will plot on the graph will be the year 1996 with 12. So this is the required point on the graph. So we have plotted all these points on the graph. Now by grinding all these points, we are getting the graph for the actual values. And now we will plot the trend values on the graph. For this, the first point that we will plot on the graph will be the year 1997 with 19.4 that is for the trend values we will plot the years with the five yearly moving averages so this is the required point on the graph now the next point that we will plot will be the year 1998 with 21.4 so this is the required point on the graph Similarly, we will plot all these points on the graph. So we have plotted all these points on the graph. Now by drawing all these points, we are getting the graph for the trend values. And this is also called the trend line. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.